Hi everyone. Today I'm going to have a, a bit of a plink at the uh, the 12 to 14 mil spinner that I've got at the bottom of the garden. Here's another scope that I'm going to put onto my RM8 later. Just take a quick trip down the garden and set this camera up. Bit of a cold day again. 2nd of November 2018. I've done a bit of plinking, but what I'm going to do is, is just crank this camera up a little bit, see if we can lift it. This is my cheapest tripod that I've got. If the sound is a little bit distorted, it's because I'm using my lapel microphone again. It's rather damp today and cold. But I'm going to have a go at shooting that tiny spinner there, the bottom one. It's only about 12 to 14 millimeters across. But I'm going to give it a go with the RM8. There won't be any rifle video footage from this, just the target itself. Just walk back to my shooting position. I have to say that I have the the worst tin of AA filled pellets I've ever seen. I've never seen a packet of these pellets so distorted or damaged but we'll give them a go. Let's just put the magazine in just see how we get on. Take the safety off. I'm shooting at 30 meters I think I need to move this microphone just a moment. Let's clip it onto the timid pallet. There we go. Hopefully it still picks up the sound. It's getting rather dark to be truthful. But we'll have a go at shooting that little tiny spinner. There we go. That's the first shot. That's 30 meters. See if I can hit it again. This is the Wolf Rotex RM8 in 22 caliber. I can hardly see it to be truthful. Missed it. Now I've got a magazine jump, which is not good. Unfortunately, I've got some tablets that are not very good. I'm going to swap the magazine out completely. Some of these AA fields are atrocious. They really are. I've been very disappointed with them. But let's have another go at it. There we go. Ooh, very, very slightly over the top. Very, very slightly to the right. Whether I was canting the rifle or not, I'm not sure, but we'll try again. So, as you can see, at 30 metres, the RM8 isn't too bad at all. He's looking through the uh, the scope at ten times zoom. There we go. Just to prove that it can be hit. I'm 
almost found a few decent pellets. There we go. Slightly high and right. Probably a little naff pellet, but not to worry. Just finished this magazine off. It's just an example that the RM8 can shoot accurately at 30 meters. And I think that was the last one. I wasn't counting, but I'm guessing this is going to be a bright fire. And there we go. Just move this microphone again. Reattach it to my coat. And it's safe to catch on. Remove the magazine. When I'll do our blank fire this last shot, just make sure that the one is empty. Safe to catch back on. And we'll go and fetch the other camera. The camera I'm using to video this was the one that I shot holes in before. So many of you know that the sound on it is pretty crap, which is why I'm wearing a lapel microphone. And we'll just take this back up the garden. Missing all the bushes and the trees and the dead wood. See, the clanging is the microphone cable hitting the tripod I'm carrying. I'll just take some of these pellets and just look at some of these. As you can see, some of the skirts on those are diabolical. Move those out of the way. This one here was the one that jammed. That's the pellet there. Got jammed. And if you turn it over, you can already see the state of the skirt on it, which is terrible. If you turn it over, you can see where it jammed itself in the, the breech. But there was the shooting position. 30 meters. Another scope I'm going to put on the rifle and the target is right down there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>